Okay, let me continue. Uh, I think I stopped uh, somewhere around insert statement last night. So here um, we are going to continue with uh, update. So we should be able to update employee data or our record. Then eventually I will show you um, uh, delete and then uh, last one might be uh, select statements. So that should be uh, good enough for simple JD. PC uh, tutorial. So uh, update uh, employee data. Uh, we are not using any class, so looks very simple. Let me just introduce new data set for one employee uh, called E0001, and his name is John. Sorry, yes, of all. And mail again, even though it's the same data set. Uh, let me just type it so that I can demonstrate you can actually change um, your your data in your employee uh, one with uh, everything. So let me just even though it's the same data set, let me just do that. So update employee set name. Again, don't forget you need a single quotation plus name that depends on uh, John. Single quotation again. We have uh, multiple columns, so comma, continue, age. Age, you don't need a single quotation because it's an uh, integer value. One space, don't forget. Leave one space, uh, make it more readable. Plus here, and then gender. Gender need your, you need quotation marks because it's a character value. Plus gender. Quotation mark, comma, last one is address. Double quotation, so you need the quotation, single quotation, plus uh, address. Single quotation, end with the double quotation, okay? Then say um, semicolon at the end of your SQL text. I mean, we don't want to update every record, so let's say where number equal to um, num, which is, um, let me make it some space here, uh, make it more readable. It looks like two space. Here, um, number, De depends on given input, which is E0001. So once you finish, um, that's how it looks like. We are going to use exact update. Pretty much we are going to use exact update for everything except the select uh, statement. So let me remove that. Copy that one. So here I will say um, update it. So that one is not necessary now, so remove. If you want, you can check your database first before you continue. Uh, let me just continue. So delete employee data, again, I need to have at least one employee number so that I will remove uh, or delete only one record or that particular employee record. 
as you know, if you don't specify, you are removing everything from your table. So delete from employee here where number equal to number, which is E0003. Don't forget to add the single quotations. For SQL statement, you need the single quotations. STMT uh, Eject Update SQL Text Let me copy that, paste it, change to uh, table I think I say employee record, delete it, it makes more sense Let's see. So we drop table, create table, update, delete. Uh, one more to go. Last one is uh, loading SQL select statement. This one we have to use uh, exact query. I will show it to you eventually. And uh, we need to use a class called reject set. Don't worry, it's not difficult to use. Here, this is uh, eventually what we are going to use. Say that a uh, SQL statement to be sent to the database. Typically static SQL statement called uh, select. So let me just copy paste it. So let me re uh, revise it. Send to a uh, database while we are sending uh, SQL select statement. Okay. So SQL text. Select everything from employee table. So here SQL text semicolon. That's it. Uh, we need to import result set class. Uh, it's always a good idea to type it at least once so you can get familiar with uh, with uh, some certain syntax. The result set class should be imported. So basically, uh, five of them you should import. Okay, collection data, driver manager, and then statements, and then this time uh, result set. So result set uh, is going to have uh, multiple employee records. Then uh, you can browse, or you can iterate it using index value or index number of the column or also you can use the name of the column so rs next this basically is saying uh, do we have more record so it works like a, a, some sort of pointer at the end of record so if you have a 10 record I and mean, when it reaches to 9 you will return truth value means there is one more record if you reach to at the end of a uh, record, there's nothing new or nothing more, then it will say false. So it will give you some sort of a way to uh, to process your table. So why RS next? Um, let me make it simple at this point. We just said has uh, multiple way of processing data. Here we are going to get string value using column index. You can also use a column label or column name. So at this point we are going to use a uh, column index. Be careful to say first column is number one. It's not a array, okay? 
The first column is number 1, not 0. Second value, again, this is supposed to be a name. So string. So because the bacha is comparable with the string data type in Java. Here, next one is uh, age. It will say int. Again, get int. Next one is uh, cha. We don't have a cha. We have to use a get string. RS. And then last one is address. Means get string. So if you have a five columns, you start with number one to five. Not one, number one, uh, number zero to four. Okay. Five columns means one to five. Okay. Let me print now. It's uh, straightforward. Let me print. So string that one. Let me add uh, one tab key so that there will be uh, some space between the value. I will do the same thing. Uh, one tab key. Remove one space, or two, one tap key, last one, okay. So at this point, we are going to retrieve value or record using the index number of the column in the uh, employee uh, t table. So it just leads uh, to record we eventually insert two, three, and then update one and remove one. So there should be two record. Okay. Uh, there's another way of um, uh, processing result set. Uh, it's more obvious, but less efficient. So we can use the name of the column. So let me uh, copy. Instead of um, typing, uh, I'm going to just uh, copy paste it here. Copy paste it all. Let me remove it. Uh, so you can use the column name, means NO number. Instead of con column index, so here it says that column label reports to column name. Okay, so I'm going to continue use that. So say name is. Gender and the address. Address commented out. Output is exactly same. Okay. There's a bit of a spacing issue, um, but it's exactly same. So you can use a leisure set to uh, iterate um, actual record from the table. The last one is make sure you close the collection with the database once you finish your job or once you finish your processing your, uh, data. If you no longer need the collection, you can close it. For now, I think that's all. Thank you.